Oh, hello there. What's up, Noodles? Busy HD. Making a ripple tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a liquid simulation quick and simple, straight to the point. No uh, different languages, no other random stuff. Okay, it's going to be quick, straight to the point. Just show you how easy it is to make a liquid simulation of any form. I'm going to start by making my my object that I'm going to fill up. I decided to spill, fill up instead of uh, spilling out of some um, object or something because, you know, it's just usual thing. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Let's use this, hold down this, and I'm gonna make my my bowl using loft nerves. And these are spine objects. You hold down your mouse over here, circle. I've already rotated them, made them the right size, so I'm just gonna put them in my loft nerves. And there is my bucket. You guys can mess around with your loft nerves if you want to. Bucket's looking nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Let me just change some of the settings real quick. And let's click this, let's render this out real quick. Okay, that looks nice, that looks pretty decent. That's nice. All right, so with our bucket, I'm gonna make this uh, area in place. I'm gonna add a compositing tag so we can move this out of the way. Um, unseen by editor and everything, so there we go. I don't get to see any of that stuff while I move around. So that helped. Let me just go up here, we're good. We got our object, we got our floor, and that's what we make sure. And what you want to do is make sure that your object isn't going through your floor. You go into a different view, front view. Let's just make sure this is good real quick before we do anything else. As you can see, I was just failing there for a second. But I'm gonna tap O, center that back in like thing. Rotate. Okay, now this is where we come into real flow. What we wanna do is just uh, get the plugin, the real flow SD exporter. And what we're gonna do is gonna click plugins, real flow SD exporter. Actually, let me make a, let me make a new folder real quick. Folder, and we're gonna make that. Um, Hmm. Let's make that RF tut win. And then we'll go back and then we'll close that and we'll go here. So, oh, that's not it. RF tut win. That's where we're going to go. RF tut win. Okay, and then we're going to just click add all. So you just know what exactly where everything is. We're just going to click export. And depending on what version you're using, it may freeze at a random point, like mainly around frame 70 or 50. That's normal. It just does that sometimes. I'm going to open up my real flow. I'm using version 5 right now. My SD is done. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Open it up real flow 5. And then what you want to do with this, people get mystified sometimes uh, when they open up real flow. Because like, how do you do this? What we're going to do, product name, we're just going to name this RF to it and final one. And location, this is where everything all your files will be saved to. This is very important. I'm gonna find the RF tip one. Okay, create a new project. Now that we're here, import, import object, and that's your SD file. So, real flow tut one. Okay, open. Then look at that. There's all our stuff to move around in this real flow world. We hold down the alt key, left click to move around like this, like look, um, rotate around. And right click and alt to zoom in and zoom out. All right, so we're gonna focus on this, and we're gonna add two things real quick. Like this is gonna be so quick and simple. Make sure this only goes up to 90. There we go. And then we're gonna add gravity. Click this, and we're gonna add gravity. Let's just leave that be. It doesn't matter where that is. It doesn't matter. Let me click this. This is our emitter, and this is what we're going to be using. I'm going to be using a circle emitter. And uh, let me move this thing around with this move tool. Move it up. Move it over. Rotate around this thing real quick. And now we're going to make it bigger because I kind of want it bigger than that. And just stretch this thing out. All right. We got our, our emitter. We have our bucket, and we'll make sure those are up to scale. Those are up to scale. I'm just looking through the bottom of the object to make sure. All right, there we go. And now we're gonna tweak our settings. Now, what I usually do is I go to Type Liquid Resolution 
keep it on one density keep it on one thousand <laughs> initial pressure 0 0.3 sometimes exit pressure one viscosity one I like it to be very very liquidy and the amount of particles this uh, this depends on your system um, most of the particles I've ever been able to render is 10 million but uh, just for the sake of the tutorial I'm just doing 10,000 because that's straight to the point easy quick speed uh, I'm gonna make it fast a little bit of velocity random like 0 0.2 and now once we do that we're gonna click simulate it's gonna start making our liquid as you can see and it should rebound off of this bucket and be simulated all over the place oh look at that and as it collabor like it hits more objects you can actually zoom like go through the thing right here so it only has 10,000 particles it'll uh, it looks like a little bit weird when it's done rendering it's gonna actually have those rings separation so let me just tweak that real quick reset go back to frame one maximum amount of particles 100,000 and resolution one density 1,500 and now we're going to simulate it and there we go looks a little bit better yep sticks together more all right guys and then it's going to start simulating because that's actually where the bottom of the bucket is that's why it's bouncing off of that and, and what we want to do once that is done I'll, uh, I'll just pause this recording and we'll come back all right the simulation is done wow that was actually a lot faster than i thought it would be but okay it's just going to fill up our bucket just for the sake of this tutorial I don't want to do anything like too long. All right, and um, there we go. We got that, and now we're gonna go back to frame zero. This is very important. Then you click this green thing, show mesh menu, particle mesh standard. Just make sure you click that. Click it. That's it. And now you want to click build mesh. Wham! Just like that. We're gonna build our meshes that we can use in Cinema 4D. We go. Just putting those together for us, and we'll come back once that is done. All right, our mesh has been successfully exported, and uh, here we go. I got up our thingy right here. All right, we're good. We are good. Okay. Now that we fill up our object, what we want to do is we're gonna go back to Central 4D, plugins, real flow, mesh importer, and do not import particles. We do not need particles. A lot of people mess up and they crash the Cinema 4D by using the particle uh, importer. That's the wrong thing you use. You got to use a mesh importer. All right, and we go to File Path. We're just going to load up our meshes. It should be in the meshes folder right there. Okay, open. And we're just going to keep that. We're going to press play. Gonna scrub through it real quick. And as you can see, it's filling up my thing. And let me just come back to this. All right, so I got rid of the bucket um, for the sake of like you being able to look at the liquid simulation. And you see this? Nice, it's filling up the liquid and all other good stuff. Now what we want to do is actually texture it because if you look at it, it's not very pretty to look at. Well, with this light rig, it could look a little nice, but you get the point, right? You get the point, right? Uh, doesn't look very nice and all. It's just pretty simple, like a slab. <laughs> No transparency. Well, it looks like that. Well, let's just make a little texture. Now, here's how we're going to make our water texture. I'm going to go here, get our color. Uh, I'm just going to leave that a lightish blue luminance. Turn that on. Turn that down to like 50. Go to transparency. Check that. Make a fraction 1.5. See, look, see, look at that. It already starts looking more liquidy. We go to reflection. There's no. Turn this down more. Turn that down. We go to bump. Check that. Click this. Noise. Click that. Oh, wait, wait. Not noise. Click this thing. Then you click uh, surfaces. And then you click water. And there we go. There's our water texture. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And we'll apply that. Drag and dropping. Straight up. And we'll render it out. See it? It's very, very nice. And that's the result of this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I'll render out the entire video, put it at the beginning or the end, so you guys can see what it looks like. But yeah, I just got rid of the jar, uh, just so you guys can see the liquid more, so we can focus on the simulation itself and not anything else. Well, I hope you guys liked this. I'll see you guys later.